All right, sports fans, we're back with a big crew here today. We have two people. This is uh, Jeff Deal. He's running to unseat uh, Elizabeth Warren, right? That's right. Thanks. Give me a boo. Come on. Yay. Boo. Oh, yay. Boo. For, uh, well, I'm seating her, but a boo for her. Come on. Boo. You have Democrats in there? <laughs> All right. Jeff Deal is running for U.S. I know Senate. he is. What the, I just said that. Hey, Gino. Good to this see you as well. G oh, stop it. This is, <laughs> this is Gino. Two, two T's, T and two, two L's, L's and one F. F. Fratellani, Aloni, whatever what, the hell. With the E in the end. All right. And remember, this is our guest. <laughs> My name is Jeff Deal. Good. Remember, he spells his name that with a good G. Right there. Thank you. <laughs> Vote for Jeff. Uh, can we do a little quiz first? Then Please. We'll get to you. Oh, certainly. And uh, the, the, these are the, the answers. Are, they're easy. They're easy. I don't want to. You know. Okay. And uh, you can phone a friend. <laughs> Please. All right. Please, well, uh, get audience. ready, Mr. Bell. And, uh, uh, yeah, you please let me finish all the choices before you get Sounds going. Good. Uh, you, want, you want to start or you want Gino? You go ahead. <laughs> I go, all right, yeah. All right, you ready? Sure. All right, Boston is located in what state? Now, oh, hold on. This. you got to think about now. it. now. Hold no, on. No, 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 no. I'm going to give you the answers. <laughs> I'm going to give you the answers. A, Ohio. B, Mass. C, Michigan. D, Florida. You want me to repeat these? Uh thinking, let's see, Florida, Florida. It's not Florida. Yeah, we're going to go with Massachusetts, I think. Uh, give him a, <laughs> hey! all right, you are correct. All right. Oh, here's Gino. It's going to be a tough one for you coming from Venice, Florida. All right. Cleveland is uh, A, month, B, year, C, city, D, country. What do you going to know? Huh? He's got two in a row. He blew it. With the it's a basketball <laughs> team, too, uh, I believe. Oh, but I didn't say. We just got a, Stop elbowing. a player from no. there. What you mean we? I'm a New York Knicks fan. Okay. <laughs> Just look for the basement. That's where I am. All right, you ready for this? Ready. This is a technical question. Snow is A, cold, B, warm, C, green, D, permanent press. Huh. <laughs> All right. They don't get any harder than this. We've had a lot of snow in the last few years. I'm going to go cold. Wow. Okay, That's good. it. I asked him who... Helen of Troy's uh, first name is, and he gave me Troy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. People to left, man. Uh, All right, go uh, ahead. Uh, lightning is A. <laughs> C, noisy. <laughs> B, cold. C, lukewarm. Or D, bright. Oh, what do you got? I don't know. I might say it wrong. Mice? Probably. No. What do you got? Lightning, yeah? Is it? Lightning? lightning. It's noisy, cold, That's lukewarm, or bright. Very noisy. Do you want to phone a friend? <laughs> Very noisy. Lightning is not noisy. It's bright. It's the thunder. It's the thunder. It's the thunder. Hey, give him my. Ah. Give him one of these. He's wrong. Oh, oh there you go, buddy. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run your campaign. I'm telling you. That right sounds now. good. All right, you ready? You ready? Labor Day occurs in A, October, D, December, C, September, or D, March. It's toughy here, you know? Well, I'm looking forward to uh, yes. enjoying the Labor Day weekend that's coming up very soon. So I'm going to have to say September. All right, give them. Hey! All right. Probably. Now we go over to the loser here. Yeah, there we okay, go. Well, okay. <laughs> All right. You ready? This yeah. is a toughie. I okay. know you remember these. Okay. The next presidential election yes. is in A, 1776, B, 2020, or uh, who's that woman who had that show? Wait a minute. What are you? You're Barbara Walters? About Barbara Walters. 2020. 2020. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't hit me. Does you didn't give me a chance to answer. No, I didn't finish. Next presidential election is in 1776, B, 2020, C, 1984. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, 1984, D. Wait a minute. I didn't finish. Oh, okay. D, 21 BC. Oh, my God, 21. No, no, no. It could be 70, 1776. Get him again. <laughs> Jeez. You, you study history, yeah? You got a degree in it. All right. Now, this is this is real toughy for the end. Are you ready? Is there a bonus uh, amount? You get to stay here. <laughs> okay, good. All right. You get to drive Jeff away then. Yes, Perfect. All right. A traffic light that means stop is, you ready? A, black. B, green. C, red. Or D, my favorite, mauve. Hmm. It's not easy here. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's red. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. And is mauve even a word? Mauve is, well, mauve is a, a pale violet. Okay, is it mauve? I always thought it was mauve. That's mauve thromberry. Okay. Mauve. <laughs> mauve. 
Mom's a name. Okay, that so. takes care of that. <laughs> no, All right, it. next. Here we go. <laughs> and now Jeff Deal is a Republican who represents the seventh Plymouth district, right? That's correct. That's Plymouth County, correct? Exactly. All right. Throw <laughs> these kids out. In the Massachusetts House of Representatives, all right? And you're ultimately you're in a primary in what, in November? That's when they usually hold it, isn't it? <laughs> Well, actually, uh, it's going to be a year from now, so it's still a ways away. This well, is don't worry about it. Vote now. <laughs> get it in. <laughs> That's true. Vote early, vote often. So the 7th Plymouth District is three towns, Abington, Whitman, East Bridgewater. And for people who don't know, Whitman is the home of the Toll House Cookie. That's where I live. My wife uh, is from the town of Whitman. We are raising two daughters, 15 and 11. But I'm also lucky enough to represent, like I said, Abington and the town of East Bridgewater as well. I ask a simple question. I get the whole story. <laughs> well, you yeah, give me a nice simple answer. answer. Oh, give me the whole McGilla. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a year from now. Well, you're ready. Boy, you have to really start early. You start early. That's right. Oh, yeah. Well, as long as you finish ahead of everybody. Finish strong. And uh, who are you running against? Elizabeth Warren, but that will be in November of 2018. I'm ready now. Yeah. Chalk it up. <laughs> she's an attack dog, really. That's what her name is. And she's, she's so vicious, she attacked herself the other day. I, I must have well, missed that. It's on tape. I have it. All right. She's a senator. United States senator. All right. Didn't she get it by default? <laughs> no, she got it originally by default. No, she she won no, in didn't 2012. Somebody croak? No, she she uh, replaced she Scott Brown, who who won oh, the seat during a special election. Yes, and then Scott had to take off for uh, New Zealand. New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, because it's, he wanted to see the Coriolis force go the other way. Well, he's an ambassador. Be nice. He's a friend of mine. Well, I don't care. He doesn't have any. I don't. He doesn't send me any money. All right. So remember, deal for U.S. Senate, and there's a website, dealforsenate.com. D-I-E-H-L-F-O-R Senate.com. Excellent. That's so free along with the bumper sticker. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, I know you like to save money, don't we all? And uh, so he's definitely not a Democrat then. <laughs> That's so, like, yes. That's like that old joke about it was so cold that the Democrat had his hands in his own pocket. That's know? how cold it was. Give him one of these. Bump. Come on. Give him, give him a trim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill those kids. No, I've been uh, serving since 2010 as a state representative, and one of the main goals has been to try to make sure that Beacon Hill does a much better job with our money uh, than they have been in the past. And I was lucky enough to work on a ballot question in 2014 where we repealed an automatic indexed gas tax, which would have gone up every year without a vote. And we saved taxpayers over $2 billion. So, yes, saving taxpayers money is critical to mm -hmm. making sure that people can afford to live in the state right. and, uh, and afford to, you know, have a good retirement, send their kids off to college. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that government certainly doesn't need to be so big that it controls every aspect of our lives, especially the amount of money that we make and can keep in our, in our households. Give him one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is that a yay? Where are the kids? All right. All right. It's a yay. All right. All right. That is true. What? Of course it's true. He wouldn't have said it if it wasn't or weren't. All right. So what are your plans for Mrs. Warren? She's married, isn't she? My plan is to unseat the senior senator and make sure that we have a different U.S. senator down there with different priorities. That's my goal in 2018. And uh, I guess now that I've been on the show, I should think about, you know, if we put some new carpeting in the office, it'll have to be mauve, right? Mauve carpeting. Mauve, not mauve. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll stick to, I'll stick to the political uh, topics. Here. <laughs> on our comedy show, don't call us, we'll call you. All right. <laughs> All right, so what, no, and, uh, what did you do before that? Well, I actually didn't run. Uh, Wait a minute, in 5,000 words or less, could you? Sure, sure. <laughs> I did, it, uh, before 2010, when I ran, I wasn't into politics at all. I was 40 years old. I had two daughters at the time, six and two. My wife and I own a small business in the neighboring town of Hanson. What's the name of the business? Boss Academy of Performing Arts. It's a performing arts school. My wife teaches at it. She teaches dance and acting and voice. I could teach comedy. <laughs> right there. And, uh, I'm ready. She's been in business for 15 years, and uh, we have hundreds of wonderful kids that each year are enrolled in the studio to learn about performing and doing shows and competition dance and all that sort of thing. really helps build character, so it's been a great business that she's run. I'm more of the, the janitor for the business. I do a lot of the uh, maintenance of the building and, and the grounds, um, but also uh, help produce the end-of-the-year show with her each year. So it's been a great business. I also worked for a sign company in New Bedford 
Poyant Signs, the largest sign company in New England, mm. uh, when I was running for office. And uh, I ended up giving that up after I got into office to make sure that I could commit myself fully to making sure that I was working on Beacon Hill for the interest of the folks from my district and the state of Massachusetts. That's similar to me. I got committed. <laughs> Jimmy, come on. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is good to keep people nice. out of here. What a difference. What a difference a day makes. You fix your hair. <laughs> All right. Uh, mine okay? You too. Looks great. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Looks so shiny. Where did you go to school? I went to Lehigh University in the it's town Pennsylvania. Of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. All right, baby. All You're right. In. Give him a point. Give me a, give me a goal. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, thank you, thank you. <laughs> See, the most people don't know. I don't know. You know I'm it. from New York City, I know. Okay. All right, so uh, what did you major in there? I actually majored in government and urban studies. I double majored, but uh, it's funny. I never thought I was going to run for office. I always thought I'd go to law school. I ended up going to New York City uh, and working in advertising for a period of years, and I met my wife, who was from Whitman, on a blind date. We got engaged four months after we met, Wow. And we got married a year after that. So we uh, we kind of knew that we were right for each other. And she had just done a Broadway show. Really? Yes. She's a, she was on a Broadway. So we went to go. go I to think she, she needs to, I don't know, have to have her as the next guest. Exactly. I think so. <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> this is Jeff. Well, what's her first name? It's Kathy Joe. Kathy, Kathy Joe. Jo Kathy Joe. Was she from Southern uh, Southern New England? Her Kathy mother's Kathy jo. and her father's Joe. Kind of made Kathy the name Joe. Easy. All right. Remember, you heard it here first. Vote for him right That's here. That's right. Kathy Joe. I think she ought to come up here. Yeah. Well, I'll bring her around next time. You do. What do you mean next time? Next oh, time. Oh, sorry. Because we got to compete. You know, next, she and I can compete on the game show next time. Great. Because you you told me I would win. <laughs> All right. So how if long I'm have you been smart, married? I'd throw it. Three weeks or what? How many years is it? We've been married 21 years. Wow. And rookie. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Not your business. You're not nice to me. Today. Hold out your ear. <laughs> All right. So, 21 years, huh? 21 years. Yeah. We well, got married at Holy Ghost Church in the town of Whitman, and uh, it's been it's been great. Like I said, two daughters, 15 and uh, 11. One of them's in high school, and one I just took today to orientation for middle school. So wow. they're growing up fast. We used to call that junior high. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Enjoy what you got them. Huh? Yeah. We don't have any kids. I do. Well, good for you. And what about you? Do I, don't look at me. Yeah, you should have grandchildren. The lights were on. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so uh, uh, where, where did you, so you, you went to school in where now? In Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. No, no, no. Let's go back in time. Sure. You were, where were you born? Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Oh, for God's sake. No wonder <laughs> you went there. I see a theme here. So you didn't, you, did, you, you left afterwards then? Well, I actually, my mother remarried when I was seven, I'm sorry, when I was 10, divorced when I was seven, remarried and we moved to Illinois for about 10 years. Nobody moves to Illinois. What <laughs> well, is we this? did. Do you want to see tornadoes? It was not too bad out there. Where in Illinois? A uh, town called Winneka, North Shore, uh, north of Chicago. Chicago. You don't have to have a little bit of town. No, that's that? New York. I went to the University of Wisconsin. I'm a beaver and a badger. You went there? Jazz. In Madison? Jazz. What Beautiful. a weird place. It's cold up there. Not that year. They had to cancel the, uh, it was graduate school. They had to cancel the ice festival. Is that right? It was too warm. Wow. See, 55 degrees is just a little warm for ice. Yeah. So I lived out in Illinois for about 10 years and ended up going back to Bethlehem for college. Because once you, once you leave Bethlehem, they always come back. Isn't that right? It's pretty much. You thought it was in the Middle East, right? <laughs> Bethlehem. The sister city. There the you go. The sister city. <laughs> All the home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, what else can we ask you? Uh, what uh, anything you want? I might, wait, let's get specific. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't. You know, I was reading the Globe today. I mean, what? Excuse me. Oh, I, I, what am I doing? What's that? No, I'm, which way am I leaning? Oh, leaning to the left. I'm reading the Globe. <laughs> yeah. Get it? Yeah, no, I get it. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come over here, Mr. Bailey. Get over here. Come on. <laughs> Jeff, number th he's over there going to delay a game. <laughs> Wipe that smile off your face. All right. So, uh, so what did you, where was you, your first job was with the sign company? No, no. I went to um, New York City after I went, uh, after college. Where'd you live in New York City? Uh, well, I lived on the, uh, my gosh, Upper East Side with two, two friends from college. We had a dog and a ferret. And uh, so there was no. five of us living in a first floor oh. studio apartment, and uh, and it was the summer. I remember 1993. The oh, summer. nippy! No, so it was <laughs> hot and uh, crowded. Oh. And did you ever uh, hear of air conditioning? 
if we could afford it. Where the heck? A ferry? Why did you do it with a ferry? It wasn't mine. That was one of my friends. <laughs> he was and, lonely, huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. New York, small place. You got to keep small pets. A Not a ferret. How about a small dog? That was what I got, the small dog. What kind of dog was it? She was a Lab Shepherd mix. She, I had her for 16 years and uh, oh. passed away a few years back. Oh. Yeah. See, Daddy's a dog lover, too. Yeah. So let's get those dog vote in there. <laughs> yeah. So, but, go but, ahead. Yeah, no, I lived in New York, and uh, it was my roommate who was going to graduate school. Uh, somebody that he was in graduate school with, she had a roommate, and the two of them fixed us up on that blind date. His, her roommate, my wife, Kathy Jo, her roommate's name was Mary Lou. So I thought... Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> Mary, that was a song by... Uh, that was a song. Uh, was, who was that? Oh, Mary, hello, Mary Lou. It was... Yeah. Uh, I thought it was two Ricky, Southerners. Ricky, no. Was it Ricky Nelson? Ricky Nelson. Nelson. Ricky, Mary I blew Lou. up a plane. Do I get a... Give me a, a, a Ricky point Nelson. For that Ricky hey. Nelson. Hey. Hey. All right, good. <laughs> Delay a game. <laughs> All right. So I thought there was going to be two Southern women when I was going over to the knock on the door. It turns out one woman from Massachusetts and another one from the Philippines. It was Maria oh, Lourdes man. Gonzalez. Well, that's south. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I was in Queens. So why didn't you drop in? I should have, uh, should have <laughs> said, hey, I looked you know. Could have walked my dog over. You, well, we had enough to go on without that. <laughs> you ever hear of Jackson Heights? Sure. I don't think I made it there. I mean, I think that was back when I was just pretty much making enough to get by and living in Manhattan. You could take in the 7 train. <laughs> yeah. It does. That one that goes from Times Square goes to Flushing. Flushing what? The not, toilet. What do you think? Not Flushing. Flushing, Flushing Meadows? Flushing, yeah. It's <laughs> watch it. It's Flushing Meadows with the, the Mets. Do you remember them? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, what, do you, what do you, your, your wife plan to stay with the business? Oh, gosh, yeah. No, it's going really strong. It's been great. And uh, our Maybe someday our daughters will take it over. Who knows? I might take it over. That'd be Don't great. I mention I'm going to I'd be love to see you dance. So would I. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, say, don't you have something to ask? Come on. I, Don't just sit there. <laughs> you're, you're always talking. Ask Every him time a I say something, you shut I'm not up telling you to zip it. Go ahead. Zip it. Go ahead. Ask him something. I'd like to see what his future is going to be as a senator, what he will do for Massachusetts. Very important. As your wife will live in, in Washington, or you will come in to Massachusetts back and forth? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously you have to spend a lot of time down in Washington during the week. Uh, my goal would be to try to get back on weekends to visit with the family. But uh, again, one of my daughters is, should be off to college in the next uh, you know, two, three years. So we'll see where she goes. But you know, for me, this has been a calling running for office. And we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, you know, it, I never thought I was going to win that race in 2010 for state representative. It was a, an uphill battle. The, the seat was held by an incumbent Democrat that had, the seat had been held by a Democrat for 14 years. Wow. Uh, I was political newcomer, but you know, we ended up winning that issue, or winning that, that seat. Then I ran on that uh, gas tax ballot issue in 2014, and nobody thought we were going to win that. We were outspent 31 to 1, and uh, it was a grassroots team across the state that came out to deliver that victory. We, we actually outperformed Governor Baker by 50,000 votes. Wow. And uh, it, was, it was a pretty amazing thing where we saved taxpayers $2 billion. Um, I also was involved with the Trump campaign. I was the co-chairman for the Massachusetts campaign. Nobody thought he was going to win. And yet we were able to uh, ah, win a very strong primary. You, you were one of the predictors. Uh, but uh, he won that primary in Massachusetts. He got 20,000 Democrats to unenroll to vote for him in the primary. So uh, he ultimately got about a million eighty-eight thousand votes in the general election in Massachusetts, more than Governor Baker won in 2014. So, you know, um, right now it's looking like you know there's a there's a group of people out there that aren't just Republicans or Democrats. There are a lot of independent voters that want someone who is going to go to Washington or on the line, really. Or online yeah. and stop the finger pointing, stop complaining, stop yeah. kicking the can well, down. How about doing something for a change and doing instead something. of being on a witch help hunt each other. for seven yeah. months? Yeah. That's right. That'd be nice. That'd That's be nice. the goal. And That's un-American. What's the matter with you? Well, he's going to do his, <laughs> He's going to do in Washington the same thing he did in Massachusetts, trying to make sure the spending is limited and make sure where the money goes and uh, the, well, he's going to help us. Keep taxes low. And keep taxes low. Yeah. Make sure that we grow the jobs. But the other thing too is respect law enforcement and the veterans right. that have served. Yeah. When they come back, you know, the VA hospital should no not be an go. issue. And I'm on a housing authority appointed by the governor. I have a lot, a lot of calls and people say, Gino, can you help me? I only can do is bring them an application and bring them to the office to fill it. They have to wait six months. 
We have no places for those people. And part of the problem is there's <coughs> people coming into the country illegally, and it, we want right. people to immigrate to our country, to legally. our state. But it needs to be done legally, and a lot right. of those spaces get taken by people, yes. uh, and then it become unavailable for uh, the veterans who are coming back right. looking for help. So we want to make sure that happens, uh, take care of that, and, and again, eliminate illegal immigration, and also stop sanctuary cities. That's another right. pretty serious Every problem. Every boss in a sanctuary city? It is a sanctuary city, and yeah. uh, it basically is telling law enforcement to not work with federal right. uh, agencies like ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, to uh, follow the rule of law and make sure that people here illegally with right. criminal backgrounds are deported. Right. I don't understand how that uh, rule of law doesn't matter today, but that seems to be the case with a lot of politicians, including my opponent for this Senate seat. She is right. for open borders and for sanctuary cities. It doesn't seem to be right. What about San Francisco? That really worked well for them, didn't it? A tragic uh, case of Kate Steinle. Yeah. Where yeah. She was killed by someone who ha had a criminal background and wasn't deported and went specifically to San Francisco because it was a sanctuary city and he knew his record wouldn't be uh, able to be looked up. Who came up with this idea? I don't know. Uh, certainly a bad idea and certainly something that we shouldn't be, you know, moving towards. And yet, right now, there seems to be this movement in Massachusetts uh, and across the country to do the sanctuary city yeah. status. So Don't look at me. <laughs> so, yeah. Something I will definitely be working on down in Washington. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you. <laughs> this is like chip and dip. No, no. Thank you. You don't tell me to zip it. Chip and zip. Why should I? Right. There's only a few people here today. I, I need know. some noise. So some good news, too. I didn't tell you this. We uh, You're getting married. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> already taken care. Already done that. Uh, I'll do it again. you got to get it right. We got Kurt Schilling to endorse the campaign. Kurt Schilling? That's right. The man who had blood on his... Bloody sock? <laughs> yep. He is a bloody sock, isn't he? <laughs> oh, that's a different meaning in Britain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kurt Schilling has uh, been politically involved uh, lately, and he, he decided to endorse this race, so that's good news. We, we're going to have an event uh, or two in Massachusetts with him, so that's Where? good. Uh, to be determined, but people can go to I've that website, dealforsenate.com. To be determined. He's very popular. And What's a, that website again? Dealforsenate.com, and there's a Facebook page, uh, which is Jeff Deal for Senate. There's a Twitter account, Deal for Senate, so they can look at all the different social media. We also did a website called... Where's Warren? Because Elizabeth uh, Warren somewhere in the field. has been spending a lot of time out of Massachusetts raising money for herself wow. and raising money for Democrats. When Kid Rock said that he was thinking about running for the Senate in, in um, Michigan, mm -hmm. you know, she immediately put up uh, an email out uh, talking about fundraising to try to stop him. So she doesn't seem as concerned about people in Massachusetts as she is about people in other states. And it seems like she's planning to make a run for president oh, in 2020. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Massachusetts appreciates having their senator have delivered nothing for the state so far, and yet look beyond mm -hmm. uh, Massachusetts for uh, to basically have two more years as a senator to run for president. Uh, I promise that when I run and, and uh, am elected to the U.S. Senate, that I will work every day for six years to deliver on what we need here in the state. And then well, she's working for herself for six years. And then what you want she to wrote do two afterwards, books. that's fine. Oh, good, because she has not got enough money. She made $1.6 million well, on two books that's while not, she's been serving well, as senator. I see 1.5, but not 1.6. <laughs> that's all that's beyond the pale. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Are, are you buying a copy of Hillary's book, by the way? I haven't gotten out to the bookstore yet. For I that. I, that's a biggie. <laughs> She's got a narrated version, I heard. Yeah, I was. Uh, did you hear it? No, I haven't heard oh, it. Oh, she called him, uh, the, uh, she called, uh, uh, her flesh crawled when Trump her was Her opponent? There. Yeah. Yeah. And that, what was it? Some other remark she made about him was not very nice. Yeah, it was not a Oh, very, you creep. Yeah, it was not a pleasant campaign. Well, what, but, but she, you know. Why she point the blame at herself? I guess that's uh, that's the problem nowadays down in Washington. Nobody wants to take uh, responsibility right. for and Nobody actions. does anything either. That's Congress right. has really done a lot. That's they had right. a baseball game. You should run for something. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. For Congress. Yeah. yeah. We understand that Songa is not running, I guess. Huh? Oh, what a shame. <laughs> well, who's, who's taking? Oh, they're already fighting over it, right? Me and his wife, ex-wife? Ed, you and Gino should primary each other to run for that seat. How would, how would that work? All right. <laughs> That'd be beautiful. Well, so <laughs> if we have the finances, well, we could A lot of Jewish <laughs> Italians out there. Yeah, or Italian Jews. There's a lot of them now. You could run in 2020 for president and vice president. <laughs> be a good you be, you want to be president? No. I get to drive the car. You need a driver, by the way. <laughs> Does it pay good? No, no, I don't pay. It doesn't pay. Once you get in, baby, right here. <laughs> <laughs> you going to drive for him? I'll do anything. I don't oh, care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I I'll look to watch the grass grow. All right. So, uh, what else would you like to talk about? What you want? Come on out here, Jeff. You no, no. Have a, Jeff's 
Jeff's good there. Jeff's been helping me out on the campaign quite a bit. I don't want to put Yeah, him he's on helping the spot. you out. I know you're outside the car when he pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to put my thing up, please? Wake up in there, will you? Wake up in there. Come on, control room. Wake up. Put my stuff up. Right there, there it is, right there. See? Oh, you've got a website. Damn yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> the Ed Cohen Show. That's right. The, the, uh, yeah. And do you get a lot of fan mail there? I know. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are you kidding me? You know, we lost Jerry Lewis this week. I know. He was 91. a great comedic talent. Yeah. 91. I never thought that, uh, you know, I'd get to be a sidekick, you know, for you. Hey, baby. All right, man. <laughs> this is thank good. You. Nice to meet you, this Dean. Is nice. <laughs> 91 you, years old. Well, yeah. Not you, Jerry Lewis. I know. And the telethon. He used to do such a great job raising money. I know. And yeah. Dick Albert got amazing. more uh, announcements than he did. Is that right? Yeah. No. He the, did. the original Nutty Professor. That's right. <laughs> I've seen that movie. <laughs> you patented yourself after it, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Now I'm running against a professor who's taught one course at Harvard yeah, and made $350,000. Well, it's not easy. Yeah. She's having trouble making the ends meet. When those book sales don't pick up, uh, you know, when you're not making $2 million on the books, then uh, it's but, tough. Is she paid taxes? Though? Unbelievable. I'm assuming she's paid taxes. Well, don't assume anything because you know <laughs> what that means. <laughs> hey, how you doing there, Mr. Bailey? Weren't you in that movie in 1946 with the J Jimmy Stewart? The, what was the name of that? It's a Wonderful Life. That's a Wonderful Life. Weren't you, weren't you the, ba the bank manager? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and you lost your money? Thank you. No, I, uh, he, saw, he saw an angel on the bridge there before he jumped. I was yelling, jump, jump, get it over with. Great movie. Great movie. Don't remember it. Black and white. You know when they had real movies? That's right. All yeah. right, so y you want to come back again, don't you? I would love to come back. All right, I got to start, really start prepping for that quiz, though, next time. Oh, it's not easy. I'll give you the answer. It's tough. It's B. <laughs> Oh, so you, and from here you're going to Fitchingburg, right? Off to Fitchburg. What's in Fitchburg, sir? Another cable television. Oh, they can't be any as good as this, you know. You're this is it. One of a you kind. Make sure. It, huh? nice one good. of a kind show. That's right. And remember they where you broke the from. mold after this. They, one. they certainly did. <laughs> they, they set fire to it. Get it out of here. Well, yeah. it sees. The time is almost up. I want to thank you for Bless having you, me on the show. Bless you, my child. I want thank to tell you, so you much. I accept contributions. Oh, okay. And Gino, thank you for. Co-hosting this. Keep in touch, okay? Thank you. It's I great. have a group, you know. You want your wife to get involved with that? <laughs> Does she sing? Is it a dance group? No, we we have a singing, and I'm the MC. You want to get her involved? <laughs> what are you talking about? She's busy teaching the, ch the Don't kids. Don't worry about it. We can handle that, too. <laughs> give a cake, right? Give her a cake? Give them cake. Give, well, let me eat cake, not give him cake. So I, I wish you well, and get her out Thanks of there, will you please? It. Will do. Look at that, he just broke my hand. Look <laughs> at this here. We wish you a lot of luck. Uh, uh, all right, put on that music, and now you got to do this. Da, 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 da. Look, look. Ed Sullivan is dead, but Cohen is. And when it comes to weather, Cohen's smart. As New York as you get, his money's on the Mets, which goes to show that Ed to Joe always bets his heart. You'll hear a slick review or two from Nicky. And Cantor something Berg will sing some songs. There's weather news and shtick, enough to make you sick. You'll be glad you came along.